we've got a PSA returns. So these are cards that I believe I sent off via the sub center at CardCon, I think. Um, let's have a quick look. I'm not too sure. But either way, we're yeah, these are CardCon. <laughs> there's there's a lot. I sent off a lot of multiples. So let's um let's get into it and see what we've got. Because there's a lot of cards. Right, let's get this stacks done. And we've got a smaller stack as well. Let's try and get the back of the cards. Hang on, that's the front. I want the back. Ah, oh, there we go. So these came back relatively quickly. Let's give um let's give Dan and the guys a, a quick plug. There we go. Kent Card Show is actually on this weekend, so too late for that but there we go there's all the details for the sub center go and follow them on all of their socials if you choose to do so uh, unfortunately no no discount codes here just yet so uh let's stick those over there we have to begin with a charmander now these cards are going to be so hard to grade i'm not expecting a 10 on any of them because there's a six <laughs> the yeah these these are so hard i mean i think a six is harsh very very harsh oh no hang on i can see there's a slight crease just there okay we're starting off with a six it's not looking particularly well is it uh, okay next up we do have another charmander with an eight yeah it must have been that dink then okay i'll take the eight i will take the eight because these these are so horrible to grade. They really, really are. Uh, next up is a Venusaur. It's all be from the same set. And I know that in this set, there wasn't... Oh, sorry, in this submission, there wasn't upcharge. Nimint 7. Oh. Okay. That's not great, is it? 6, 7, and an 8. Well, if we keep on going, hopefully, we'll get a PSA 5 at one stage. <laughs> okay, we've got another Venusaur. Are you ready for a near mint in eight? That's not bad at all. I mean, I still think they're being a bit harsh. I, the thing is, with these foil cards, the edges are, are absolutely terrible. So I'll take that. I'll take that. It means I can sell the seven. We've got another one to go. And it is another eight. That's not bad at all, really, is it? It's just nice. To, you know what? It's not about the value. And I never started grading cards back in 2016 for the value. It was purely to encapsulate the card to stop it from getting damaged anymore. Uh, this could be anything. It's another eight. Uh, yeah, it'll do. It's another eight. The eights are looking strong. I would settle for anything in a nine, though. Speak of the devil and he shall appear. We have... A 1999 Tops Pokemon TV Venusaur Foil United Kingdom release. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, let's move those along a little bit because we got our first nine of the video. Can we do any better than that? <gasps> no, we could do worse. We got another PSA 7 near mint. But it's cool. It is what it is. We'll, we'll take the losses with the with the highs and the wins and everything else. Uh, so let's have a look. We have a seven. I mean, at this set, I might, at this rate, I might as well go for a, a PSA one to ten. Okay, we're moving on to Ivysaur now, and we have six. Ugh. Ugh, that's painful. That's very, very painful indeed. Still, it's cool. It's these. These are cards that I think everyone had at my age because. Everyone's parents would have bought them thinking, oh, these are well cheap. I'll get them. Oh, uh, that's another six. That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I mean, there must be, uh, I think there might be a little crease just there, but I, I don't, I'm not 100% certain. It is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah, I think everyone my age, born in 1989, would have had these cards at some stage because I say they, they were so readily available and you could buy like 
you could buy, they were, they, these were everywhere, whereas base set at, at a point in time were not particularly easy to get hold of. We have, oh, it's a six Bulbasaur. Oh, oh the sixes are overtaking the, the eights. This is not good. And I'm going to run out of storage on this phone. I need to clear some. We've got a Nimin eight. I'll take that for a Bulbasaur. I'll take that. But you can see there, like that top corner there, I don't think it's actually like damaged. I think it's just a cut. So an eight, I'll take. It's not ideal, but we'll take it. We'll get, ooh. Oh, I just, uh, is that going to be the Japanese? Yeah, okay, that might be the CD promo cards. Uh, so we'll stick our eight there. Are these going to be the three? Yes. Oh, dear God, they're going to have to wait to the end. <sighs> right, let me take a second and just clear some storage space. Okay, we're back. I've cleared some space, but for some reason it's not doing all of it at once. I've still not seen those cards. I know that they are the CD promo cards. And, oh, that's not bad. Oh, it's Top Scrome. We're moving, we've got a bit of Top Scrome in here. Fantastic. These grade far, far better than what the uh, the, the other Tops cards do. That's awesome. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Um, so they're CD promo cards. Now, sometimes you get upcharged. You don't get upcharged every time if you get good grade. And the Blastoise got an upcharge of £6. So I'm expecting a 10. Eight on the Ponyta. That sucks. But it's a very, very nice card to have. And then I think we're back down to normal tops now. We are with a near mint to mint eight Blastoise. Beautiful card. Beautiful. Moving on to a War Turtle in an eight. That looks clean, you know. Oh, there might be a little dink just down there. The tiniest little dink. Okay. I'll allow that. I'll allow that. It's almost like they're professional graders. Uh, war total of nine. That's nice. I'll take that. That's a beautiful card. Beautiful. So we've got Squirtle with um, the old Squirtle squad on the back. How awesome is that? We do have a Mint nine. That's not bad at all. That is not bad at all. Admittedly, out of all of the original starters, Bulbasaur was my guy. And I would still love to get these cards in a Gem Mint 10, but it's going to prove very difficult. Because even if you open these now... Out of um, out of packs, they all stick to each other, so they're just not going to get the grades. Whereas with a, a lot of the other cards, uh, the, the old Watsy cards or for that era of cards, they're not going to stick to each other. Another nine. The Squirtles are going strong. That's not bad at all. We might get a ten, you know. Oh, I thought was, if I said it, I thought it was going to come, but we might actually get one of these in a ten, which would be pretty sweet. Although, that looks like there's a dink down there. Although that is a perfectly straight line, so it might actually be factory. That's a very generous nine, I think. There's no damage on the back, though. But still, we'll take it, we'll take it. We've got another two shots at least of a PSA 10, but we have a PSA 7. Still, look, at it. it's a very, very old card. You're allowed to have a 7. Okay, this is our last shot. And it's another nine. Okay. It is what it is. At least the nines will be somewhat easy to shift. So we've got a Charizard. A Charmeleon. A Charmeleon. And are these all going to be Charmanders? Let's check the bottom one. Yeah. Okay. We're going back to the start. So let's do a Charmander. Which is a near mint to mint eight. How nice does that look in a slab though? Looks absolutely beautiful in a slab. Did I only send one Charizard? Near Mint to Mint 8 again. Oh, it's, a, it's a horrible grade, but it is what it is. Oh, come on. Give me a 9. Give me a 9 in the Charmander. That's all I want for Christmas. Come on. Our last shot at a 10. It's a 7. Oh, there you go. It brings the sevens up to, to joint last. <laughs> Mint 9 Charmeleon. Very, very nice indeed. I actually have the Topps Chrome version of this, the base in a Gem Mint 10. So that's still very, very nice. Charmeleon is going to be a near Mint 7. Is that on the case? I think it might be. 
yeah, you see there's a few dinks at the top there. Very, very hard cards to grade. Let's cover this one. On the surface, it looks all right. And it is a seven. No, it's a nine. I'll take that. I'm, you know what? I'm somewhat bloody happy with that one. Okay, now we've got the CD promo cards. Now, as I said, I've got an upcharge on the Blastoise. So I am expecting a good... Gra oh. Let's cover that. I don't want to see that just yet, okay? I didn't see that. I don't know if anyone will see that back on the on the, on the the video. Okay, we've got the Charizard. And it is a... Ah, oh, it's a Mint 9. I don't care. I don't care. I've had this card for years. The fact that it's still got a 9... Is nothing short of a Christmas miracle. I hope you heard that cackle in the background. I really, really do. Obviously, my neighbour's got friends over. Venusaur. Again, beautiful card. A nine would be great. And it's a nine that we got. I'll take that. Look at that. It's absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Oh, this could have actually got the off-centre grade. Because that, 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 thick, that thick bottom there... But that's that's a nice looking card. Why did it get a nine? I would have loved that in a ten. Okay, and then this this is the one we are expecting a ten in, and it is a gem in ten. Look at that. I don't think it's anything special. I think it's only worth about three hundred pounds. But that's amazing. Look at that. Look, you sir can have your own little space. But there we go. I still have a lot of cards out. So they will be back at some point in the future. Oh, I can breathe.